Oh my goodness. What are these bulls doing? This is the 30th record close today and stocks are getting very excited. And Tom Lee has a very simple message for us. Look behind those brown eyes. Message is simple. Stick with what's working. And we're going to go through and talk about another simple story here because the bears just don't seem to get it. Here's another quote. Strong opinions weekly held. A true sign of intelligence is, do you want to be right or do you want to win? Be willing to be wrong a lot. Okay, well, what's working right now? Semiconductors, the NASDAQ, AI, equal weight uh, technology. Man, that's exactly what I'd expect to see if it was 1995. And then there's this right here. Oops, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But what about the economic data, right? All right, well, as inflation goes down and unemployment goes up, that could be a reason for the Fed to cut. And we see a lot of window dressing today with names like even like Tesla now. All right, well, let's listen to the big bull himself, Mr. Tom Lee. What does he say? NVIDIA and the AI-powered rally showing little sign of slowing today with the chipmaker hitting an all-time high. The Nasdaq closing above 17,000 for the very first time. NVIDIA is up nearly 20% since its earnings report just last week. And check out some of the other names in the chip sector hitting all-time highs today. Micron, NXP Semi, Qualcomm, and Texas Instruments. So, should investors count on NVIDIA to keep driving the market higher? Joining us now is Fund Strats, head of research and CNBC contributor, Tom Lee. Tom, good to see you. So, you're Great still you. bullish uh, heading into June. You say there's too little investor confidence, too much cash on the sidelines, but it seems to be flowing in now. So, how do you invest and not get burned by volatility? Well, the, it has been uh, one of those years where, you know, investors have been hesitant all year. And I think we have had some short pullbacks. But I, I think the best strategy for investors is just really stick with what's working. And, and, you know, what's working is AI related names, whether it's NVIDIA or highly correlated stocks like Cadence or Supermicro, you know, the Ozempic related trades. Uh, all right, so Tom Lee's not right about everything because small caps have been uh, left all but dead. But anyways, if we go through and pick up the story here, what I want to show you is that this video is not from today. This is actually from two weeks ago. It was recorded on May 28th. But the subject of what they talked about today was pretty much NVIDIA, right? Talking about how, hey, can we rely on these things to keep going up? And the NASDAQ got to 17,000. Well, man, it's like a Nike swoosh. It just wants to do it, baby. Let's look here to the NASDAQ. Why? because now it's at nearly 20,000. So when he did the video about two, three weeks ago, we were at 17K. Well, now we're at 199. We're on the doorstep of 20,000. Whoa. So like, what is happening here? What do these eyes know, right? Look at those brown eyes. Whoa, look at that Tom Lee. So, but I think a lot of bears and like, I thought the bears went back into hibernating, but no, they didn't. They're out, they're loud, they're proud, and they're hangry, hungry and angry. Why? Pause the video, read the checklist. It's very simple. And again, they would rather be right than to win or make money. Hey, I'd, I'm happy to be, I'm not happy to be wrong, but I'd rather be wrong than to lose money. And right now it's easy going up. Look at these, 1% a day. Woo, I call that a bull market. All right, and with window dressing still fairly strong, and what we just heard from Tom Lee, yeah, we can rely on them. They've gone a lot higher. I would say at least into the end of the month. Here's where it gets a little bit crazy. We talked about this plus 9% in the month of June after 5% in May. Let's go look at these indices. Why? Let's look at SPY. You might be a little bit surprised here. We're nearly halfway through the month. We're just over halfway through the month, and we're up by 3.74%. Times that by two. What do you get? Oh, my goodness, Tom. You get nearly nine. That's right. Four times two is eight. So we're getting awfully close. Let's look at the NASDAQ. All right, 7.62. Man, we're nearly there, right? The NASDAQ's already up by seven and a half and people are still fighting it. It's like, oh my God, would you rather be right? Or would you rather make money? Man, I, I want to make money. So these, uh, these bears have strong opinions, but they're holding on to their opinions so strongly. What are they? They're being a perma bear. Perma bears and perma bulls are pigs. Pigs get slaughtered. That's probably exactly what's happening right now. So keep it simple out there. All right, if we pick the story up from here, Let's just look and see what's working. Man, Tesla's now moving. People are like, oh my God, Magnif Magnificent 7, AI hardware. Whoa, time to buy Apple. I'm trying to buy some too. So uh, we see Apple up. We see AVGO up. We see uh, a lot of names up here. Why? Well, let's look at the last three months. People need to show that they've been beating the market. 
Ah, let's make it a little bit easier here. No group. Oh, okay. So biggest companies, good. Everything else, better make sure you're a good stock picker. There's lots of red out there. So what are people doing? Man, sell all this crap, pretend we never owned it, and buy what's been working. That's what fund managers are supposed to do. They're supposed to beat the market. And what Tom talked about in his interview, I'm not sure if it was this one or the last one was that he said, all right, we're already up by X amount so far this year. It's probably about 16% now. All right. And there's $6 trillion sitting on the sidelines like we talked about. So we're already up by 16 and now bonds are red on the year like we talked about yesterday and they're getting FOMO, right? So what he said as well is that there's not enough investor uh, uh, confidence right now. I'm going to ask you for a huge favor. If you could please consider smashing a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel, I would appreciate that. And I see it right here. People are still fearful. We're at all-time highs and they're still scared. They got all this money. They're stockpiling it like it's Armageddon. I don't know. I'm like, it's not like we, it's not like we can't go up. It's that until we have an equal and offsetting force, we're probably going to keep going up. Objects in motion tend to stay in motion and blue skies are bullish. And this is like the perfect recipe for, recipe for me to say, hey, if I was looking for a strong opinion, but strong evidence, uh, it'd be like exactly this. It's why I did it right after the market closed, one minute after. Chips are leading tech. AI is leading the S&P. Cool. And we're seeing RSP and IWM rally with it. That's some broadening out. That's exactly what I wanted to see. It's going beyond just window dressing. There's a broad-based rally out there. And man, we can go a lot higher. And people still don't believe it. That's why this is so incredible. And we generally buy fear, not sell it. That's the crazy part too. So if we look forward to tomorrow, the, uh, the bulls will have another test. We're going to be getting inflation out of Europe and it's expected to go up. What'll be the reaction? I believe, keyword here being believe, the market cares more about AI than it does about the Fed or it does about anything happening for geopolitics, including France. So if we get a bad number tomorrow and I'm right, what should we see? We should see a muted down move or an up move, if I'm right. Why? Because this is likely going to be a test here. We're going to find out what the uh, the wherewithal is for Europeans. Also, then into the later part of the week, we've got a holiday on Wednesday, so we're going to be closed tomorrow. Where do we close going into the midweek break? And happy early Juneteenth to everybody who's out there. Uh, BOE, are they going to cut? Are they going to pause? Man, I don't know. Everyone else has been cutting. Why can't they? Right? They got. They want to be part of the party too, right? Part of the club. So with that said, like have a strong opinion, but hold it weekly. When you see evidence you're wrong, it's okay to be wrong. Just don't stay wrong. With that said, if you want to subscribe, do that on the left. If not, subscribe and come hang out with me at 9.15 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you very much.